Hi guys! So today we're gonna go over bathing. My horse needs a bath, it's a little bit dusty, and so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do this. So lots of people bath their horses when they're going to a show to get them nice and clean and get the dirt out of their coat, and it can also be really nice for horses if they're trying to lose a winter coat because they get a bit scratchy and you can really get in there and give them a good scrub. Uh, you don't want to bath your horse in the middle of winter if your horse has got a really thick winter coat because it will take them ages to dry and they can catch a chill and you've got to make sure if you're going to bath your horse it's a really nice sunny day like today because then you know they'll dry out properly and they won't stand for ages shivering. If it is a little bit on the cold side make sure you've got a fleecy or something to put over them that will help wick the, the water away and then they'll be a bit more comfortable. So I've got all the stuff here that we're going to use to bath my horse. I've got two buckets. I always have two buckets, so I've got one with soapy water and one with clean water. So then you don't have to rinse your sponge as much. I've got sweat scraper, which you're going to need afterwards to scrape off any excess water so that they dry off a bit quicker. I've got a little bit of shampoo to help get the grease out of the coat. Sponge, help do the face and um, rub the soap suds in. And I've got a water brush. And this is really useful for when you scrub their hooves to get the mud off. Okay, let's go. Now we've got the horse here, ready to bath. We're gonna get the shampoo done. So I always add just a bit of shampoo to the water. You're better off diluting it, because especially if you've got a horse that's a little bit sensitive, the shampoo straight on can be a little bit strong. So just a bit of a squeeze, and then move it around to make some bubbles. And then you're all done. Now I've got warm water here. I find warm water for putting the soap on helps to get the grease out a little bit better just because the warm water and the bubbles just help break it down a bit. Are you ready for your bath? Okay, so I'm going to start on her neck and then just work my way back so she can see what I'm doing. You want to make sure the coat's really wet. So she's quite dirty up on her hindquarters and she's still got a bit of her winter coat to lose. So I've got a rubber curry comb and that just helps to work the soap in a little bit better and to get the grease out to the top. <laughs> So when they come to doing their face, I always like to make sure that they're untied and the lead ropes through the string and the head collar is undone because then you've got a bit more access to their head and if they pull back, the lead rope's still in the string but they're not going to panic and break the string because it can be a bit weird for them having water running down their face. So I was trying to have it maybe soapy but not really wet and just start right in the front to get. Just be really gentle with them. There we go. It's a fine line between getting their face wet enough that it'll make it clean but not being so rough with them that they don't like it and you have a fight on your hands. Yeah, hi, hi. Cool. Better? 
Poor Marie is not very impressed there wasn't a competition after her bath. And then I'm going to do her feet. So I'm going to use the water brush to give them a scrub. If you don't have a water brush, you can use a dandy brush or an old body brush or maybe even like this buck the brush you use to scrub your water bucket. Down. And it just gets any mud off their feet, so especially if you're bathing to go to a show. That's really helpful because you don't want bits of mud on their feet underneath your hoof oil. Um, and with a water brush where it's quite soft uh, you can use it on your horse too if you want to give them a bit of a scrub when you're bathing them so sometimes I do their legs with the water brush because it just helps to get rid of some of the dirt underneath the skin okay okay when it comes to doing their tail I tend to use a bucket because also if you just want to do their tail, it's really handy to use a bucket. Make sure you stand a little bit side because if they get a shock with the water going on their dock, you don't want to be in the way if they kick out accidentally. They pick the whole tail up and I just dunk it in the bucket because it's really easy to lift it up. You can get the whole tail really wet because it's really annoying if you try and wet the tail and you end up with a bit in the middle. So it's all sorry. <laughs> a bit in the middle that's still uh, quite dry because you want to make it really wet so that you can really work the shampoo in. Sorry. Marie is very sensitive to her dog who always does this. Good girl. Ugh, what colour is that water? And then just keep putting more water on until you're happy that it's really wet. There we go. I like to put a bit on my hand because you're not going to have a problem with them reacting to the shampoo, it's just their tail. And then rub it into the tail, a bit like if you were doing your own hair. And really lather it up so that you make sure you get as much of the tail as possible because it looks a bit weird if you have the outside all nice and shiny and then the inside of the tail is all still really dusty. Um, when you do the dock, if you're only going to just do the bottom of the tail, it's probably not the best idea to put soap on the top of the tail. Because if you don't rub it out, it can get a bit itchy. You don't wash it out. And they can really like this because their tails can get quite itchy in the summer when all the flies. And then they So then we're going to start to rinse all the soap off. It's a bit like when you wash your hair, you wash everything out. I'm going to start with her head because she's standing still nicely. So if we get that done first, she's not moved around from having cold water. I make sure to wash all of the soap out of the sponge I've just used. And I've got a bucket of clean, warm water here because I find it's a lot nicer to do their face with warmer water than just stick a hose pipe on it because I don't like that very much. And I'm just going to gently rinse all the soap off with my warm water. And if you're using warm water, make sure you test how warm it is first before you put it on your horse because they're not going to like it if it's really scalding hot. Also, if you do their head first and then the rest of their body, especially if you've got a grey, you don't end up with like tide marks where the dirty waters run off if you do their head first because you can rinse that off when you come and do their body. Because oh, you've got stuff in your nose. And then for her body and her tail, get to use a hose. Get a bit more pressure. Maria? I always start with the hose at the bottom of their feet 
and then work your way up so they get used to the temperature. So once you've got all the soap off and the shampoo, make sure you spend enough time doing that because you really want to make sure you get it all out of their coat. Your horse is going to have a lot of water lying on their skin afterwards, so use a sweat scraper to scrape it all off so they'll dry a little bit quicker. And then when you've done their body, get some of the water out their tail. I give it a little bit of a spin wash. When you do this for the first time, you might need to just do it gently because some horses can find this a bit scary. And that just gets rid of some of the excess water. And now she's looking all clean and shiny after her bath. And she's so pretty. So I always make sure if I do their tail, that if I'm gonna put any conditioner in and brush it, you do it when it's wet, because it just makes it so much easier, because you can brush it through a bit more easily. So I'm just gonna do that now, and then it's done. And just gonna take out one bit of shavings that I missed. Oops. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my horse out in the field. Um, I wouldn't normally turn her out still wet after a bath, but we've got nowhere to go, and it's the morning, so she's probably gonna get a bit dirty, which is gonna be a bit upsetting. But we might go in the field. Hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you've got any suggestions for videos let us know in the comments or you can send us a dm on instagram and facebook we're on instagram at the pony podcast facebook the pony podcast and you can find all our episodes on apple podcasts and spotify and make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos like this